Welcome back to ViewWorks Fix View Quick Guide. My name is Claire Pan, and today's video will be on sending and exporting your x ray images. When you're done working with your x ray images, you can close and save your studies using these icons. Close button allows you to close one study, and you can also do this by clicking here. VX View also allows you to close more than one studies at the same time. The closed studies are stored at the database mode. Send function allows you to send images to packs. After sending the images, you would want to check the sending status. And you can do this by checking the thumbnail or checking the status bar down here. Clicking this icon brings you to the Q tab and you can see the detailed status. For your information, to make the whole process more simplified, VXView offers AutoSend function. AutoSend function automatically sends the image to PAX when you close the image. On the other hand, AutoClose function automatically closes a study when you send a study to PAX. You can choose whether to use these two functions or not at the setting mode. When you need to export a study to another hospital, institution, or to a patient, you can use Export button here from a database mode. You can choose diverse file formats from DICOM and DICOM Viewer, JPEG, to RAW images. You can also choose which information to include, such as the annotations and overlay information. VXView also supports you to export the studies to Network Drive so that you can share and work with the images more efficiently. VXView allows you to import export a study in IMG format if it's created with VXView. Sometimes you may need to print the X-ray image. You can find a print button from the Exposure, Database, and Viewer mode. VXView supports not only DICOM printing, but also paper printing. If you click the icon, it brings you to the print mode where you can preview the printed versions which is just like any other preview screen you'll see before printing. You can customize how you want to display the printing page by choosing whether to include your logo, institution name, and other information at the setting mode. So this is just an example, and you can change the location, font type, size, and color. If you're planning to print out more than one image, you can customize the layouts here. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.